Hey there and welcome to the club. Today I'll be showing you how to draw a minor from Clash Royale. Let's get started with the eyes. I'm going to start with the one on the left. We're going to draw the eyelid. Starting from the outside, we're going to curve upwards towards the inside. Starting from the outside, we'll curve up and in. Now I'm going to connect those two points with the curve, almost like a half circle. It comes down and then back up. Let's leave a gap in the center and draw the same thing on the right side. So we're going to line up the front of the eyelid, we curve out and then down towards the right. Now we connect those two points with that half circle, coming down and then back out. Let's tuck the iris inside the eyes. So we're going to draw another half circle tucked in underneath the eyelid. Starting from the left side here, we're going to curve down and then up. Now on the left side here, we're going to draw in a circle for the highlight. And in the middle of the iris, right down here below the highlight, we're going to draw a little circle tucked in behind the highlight for the pupil. We'll color that in black. Let's do the same thing on the right side. Starting on the inside, we're going to curve down and then underneath the eyelid. On the left side here, we're going to draw a small circle for the highlight. And in the middle of the iris, at the bottom of the highlight, we're going to draw a circle for the pupil and we'll color that in black. Let's move in between the eyes and draw the nose bridge. Starting from the left side, we're just going to draw a curve that goes across like that. Now down below here, we're going to draw on the bottom of the nose. So just on the left side of this curve, we're going to draw like a little bit more than a half circle coming down to the bottom of the nose, back up on the right side. Now we're going to layer in the nostrils on the side. So coming down here on the side of the nose, we're going to curve out and then in. We'll do the same thing on the right. So curving out and then in. Let's draw on the mouth underneath. So just from the left towards the right, just underneath the nose, we're going to draw a curve that comes down and then up on the right side. We're going to draw another curve for the bottom of the mouth. So we're going to step in on the left side. Draw a curve to the bottom of the mouth. Now we're going to tuck this in on the right side, curving up. Now on the sides, we just want to draw in two straight lines coming down. And we're going to color the outside area in black. We'll do the same thing on the right side. Now we're going to add some teeth. So in the middle here, I'm going to draw one line. We're going to move over, draw a second line. And then we'll just split this end in half. We'll do the same thing on the right. So one line here and then one line on the end. We're going to draw a curve just above the eyes for the brim of the hat. So starting on the left side here, we're going to curve up above the eyes. Curving up in the middle and then down on the right side. Now we're going to draw in the sides of the head down towards the chin. Now he's got a, quite a big chin, so we're going to draw it down to about here. So just left of the eye, we're going to step up underneath the brim, draw a straight angle line coming out towards the left, and curve it down towards the chin. We're going to work our way back up towards the right side. So curving around, and then go straight up in an angle underneath the brim. Let's add in some thick eyebrows. So just above the left eyelid, we draw a curve going across like that. From this end, we go straight up underneath the brim. On the inside, we'll do the same thing, and we'll color the eyebrow in black. Let's do the same thing on the right side. So starting up here, we curve over the right eyelid. Go straight up on the ends, on both sides, and we'll color the eyebrow in black. Let's add a few scuff marks on the face. So just underneath the right eye, just going to draw a curve, we'll draw twice, and just down on the chin we're going to curve on this way. One on the side, and then just a shorter one on the inside. Let's add the ears on the side of the head. So just below the brim we're going to step down, curve up, around, and then back in behind the head. We'll do the same thing on the right, going up underneath the brim, around, and then in behind the head. We'll add the little curve for the inner ear detail. So just up here, we'll curve in, we'll do the same thing on the right side. Now this side here, the line is a little bit shorter, so I'm just going to extend that just slightly past the ear like we did on the right. Let's go ahead and add the thickness of the brim. So just on the side of the ear here, we're going to angle out towards the left. On the right, on the side of the ear, we're going to go out towards the right. Now we're going to connect those two points with the curve going across the top. Going up in the middle, just following that same curve below it and over towards the right side. Now these ends, we're going to pull them in. So from the left, we're going to go up and in. On the right, we'll do the same thing. Let's go ahead and connect those two points again with another curve. Going across the top and over towards the right side. From here, let's draw on the top of the helmet. So it's basically a half circle connecting the left side to the right, but up here we're going to have to add in that candle. So I'm going to start on the left side. I'm just going to imagine that curve going all the way across. 
So we start on the left, going up to right above there. Now we're going to add the candle. So on the side here, it's going to draw an angled line just intersecting that. We're going to step over towards about the center of the helmet and draw that same length line. Now in between here, I want to draw a curve that scoops down, but we're going to leave a little gap on either side. Going across like that. Up here, I'm going to add the wick. So two curves side by side, going up. I'll connect that with a straight line. Now we're going to draw in the flame. So we're going to step down from the top and just do like a backwards S. We're going to take the top and just curve it around in behind the wick. Now from these two ends here, I just want to connect them with the curve in behind the flame. So from the left side, we're going to go up, in behind the flame, and then we'll continue down on the right side. Now we're going to make the candle look like it's dripping over the helmet. So from the left side here, we're going to go down, and I'm going to pull that back up. We're going to draw a shorter little drip, so we're going to go around, down, and go a little bit wider, and go back up. I'm going to draw that one more time. We're going to draw a smaller one down here, and then just make our way all the way up to the side there. Just above the drip line, I'm just going to draw a little curve, just to show a little bit of a wrinkle. Now at the top of the helmet here, we're going to draw a little bit of the drippy wax just dropped on top of the helmet right there. So a little oval on the top. Now let's go ahead and continue the top of the helmet. So this curve is going to go behind the candle, starting here, curve around, then back down on the right side. Let's add a little bit of detail to the helmet. So up here, there's basically a curve that goes in behind the candle. So in the middle, we curve over towards the right, and we're going to curve it down. Curving down. On this side, we're going to do the same thing, that same curve, just behind this drip line, coming down. We're going to add two rivets on either side, so a circle on the left, and then a circle on the right. I'm going to add a couple more rivets on the side here, sort of around the helmet. So over here, draw like a half circle bulging out. We'll do another one on the left side there. Okay, so we got the head, let's work our way down the body. So just underneath the chin, we're going to curve out the side of the body down towards the belt. So on the left side here, the curve out and then down. On the right, we're going to do the opposite, curving out and then down. Now there's a belt that comes across this way, but there's a huge buckle in the center. So what I'm going to do is in the middle here, I'm going to draw a straight line that goes across first. On the ends, I just want to angle out. Now we're going to come down with a short line on either side. Now we're going to come inwards with an angled line. And then we'll connect the bottom with a straight line. Let's trim this out on the inside. So we're going to basically follow these angles all the way around on the inside. Finish off at the top. Now from these points, I want to curve the top of the belt in behind the buckle, but we're going to overlap. So stepping over, curving in towards the belt buckle, curve out on the right side. Again, just overlapping that line. Now on the side, we're just going to come down straight for the sides of the belt. Going down to right about there. Now again, we're going to curve these back in behind the belt buckle. Curving in, continuing on the right side. Let's add the straps on the side here. So from this curve, we're going to step over and draw that same curve coming down to the top of the belt. Do the same thing on the right side. Now from this point to that point, I'm going to draw a lower curve for the collar of the shirt. Coming down in the middle and back up on the right side. Let's work our way down the legs. So in the middle here, just below the belt buckle, I'm going to draw a curve from left to right, just going across like that. In the center, I'm going to step over on either side and just draw a curve for the inside of the shorts. Now we're going to draw on the bottom of the shorts. We're going to curve across to about the same width as the belt. So right here, curving across to the inside. On the right, we'll curve out. Now we're going to pull these up underneath the belt leaving a little overlap, curving in, like that. Now let's give them some feet. So from this corner of the shorts, we're going to step over towards the left, we're going to curve down towards the heel. On the right, we'll do the same. So stepping over towards the right, curving down towards the heel. We'll go back to the left side and finish off this foot. So from the heel, we're going to curve over towards the toes, curving down and then up towards the toes. We're going to layer in the toes going this way. So for the first toe, we're going to draw like a C shape, curving around, like that. Now we're going to layer the toes in behind, going a little bit smaller as we go out. So we're going to draw another C, draw another one beside that, and then we'll draw one tiny one at the end. 
Now at the top of the second to last toe here, we're going to draw a curve for the top of the foot. Going across like that. From that end, we're going to step over and curve up underneath the shorts. We'll do the same thing on the right. Curving in towards the toe. We'll draw backward C's now. So from here, we're going to draw a backward C for the first toe. And layer the second toe. Third, and then finally the last toe. On top of the second to last toe, we're going to curve up and in across the top of the foot. Now, you see here, we leave a space. We're going to go over, curve in towards the top of the foot. Let's go ahead and draw in the right side arm. So basically, the arm is going to come down in towards a fist. So just above the belt right here, we're going to curve down and out. We're going to have a clenched fist. So you're going to see the thumb here. So it's basically a half circle coming around. At the end of the half circle, we're going to draw a little bracket. At the bottom of the thumb, we're going to swirl around the bracket and pull it up. Now we're just going to give them three fingers going up. Now for the third finger, we're going to go all the way around and in behind the head. So going out and then just pulling that in behind the head with a smooth curve. We're going to add a little bit more scuff lines along the shoulder here. So just a curve here and then one beside it. Now with the arm on the left, I'm going to have him holding a shovel. So we're going to start with the shoulder here, we're going to come down towards the elbow and then across towards the hand. So right in here, I'm going to start with the hand like this. So in here, we're going to draw an oval. Start from the top, come down to the bottom, and then back up to the top. So this is the thumb. Now you're going to see the fingers wrapped in behind it. So right beside the thumb, we're going to do a sideways oval, going out and pulling that back in. We're going to step down, draw another oval, going out, in behind the thumb. And then one final finger right at the bottom of this curve, we're going to come out and we'll just pull that back in. Now we're going to go up and draw in the shovel. So just above this finger, we're going to draw two lines going up. At the top of that finger, we're going to cross like that. Now we're just going to intersect these two lines at the bottom of the shovel, just going across like that. From these ends, we're going to go straight up. Now from these two points, we're going to curve in towards the center point. Curving up towards the center, and then we curve down on the right side. Now from the center point, we're going to pull this line straight down to the bottom there. About halfway along this line, we're going to angle down and out, and then we'll pull two straight lines coming down. That. Up here, we're just going to draw a little curve just for the edge of the shovel. Now the shovel is going to come down behind the fingers down this way. Now we want to come down to the bottom of the toes here. So continuing this line, Coming down to there, on the inside, draw a straight line coming down there. We're going to connect those two points with a curve at the bottom. Now for the palm of the hand, you're going to see this part here. So beside the thumb, we're going to curve around and in towards the fingers. At the bottom, so just behind the handle of the shovel, we're going to curve in and just tuck that in behind that line. On the side of the palm, we're going to curve up and in behind the body. Now for the upper part of the arm, I'm just going to start at the side of the thumb here. We curve across like that, not connecting with the body. We step back and we're going to curve this up behind the head. Now we're going to add the sleeve of the shirt. So up here, I'm just going to curve around the body there. Up on the right side, we'll do the same thing. I want to show a little bit of the backpack behind the body here. So beside the jaw here, we're going to go out and then we're going to curve that in behind the arms. Let's do the same thing on the right, going out and curving that in behind the arms. You'll probably see a little bit of it on the side here. So just curve that in behind the belt. And then in from this corner, we step up, draw an angled line going behind the head. On this side, we'll do the same thing, just to add a little bit of coal. And that's pretty much it. There we have it. There's a minor from Clash Royale. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Make sure you subscribe and check out our Clash of Clans playlist. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again soon.